Hello Grade 7 Science Learners! I am Mr. Johnson Ayel Velas and I will be your teacher for this video. But before we start our lesson, let us first observe our environment. Look at everything that is around us. Everything that we see makes up our environment and these different characteristics of our environment are determined by the location of the Philippines on our planet. But for us to be on the same page, let us look first for our objectives for this day. So we have three objectives for this day. At the end of the lesson, learners are expected to first, define what is a coordinate system and its parts. Second, is to locate the Philippines using the coordinate system. And third, is to locate other places on Earth using the coordinate system. So those are our objectives. So let's do that together. So let's start. So first is to locate where is the Philippines. So we all know that the Philippines is on Earth, but where exactly is the Philippines? And we also know that we are surrounded by different land masses and bodies of water. So let us look at this activity. Let's read the direction. Let us look around us and observe our environment. Study the map and identify the names of land masses and bodies of water around us. Okay? So here's the map of the Philippines surrounded by bodies of water and land masses. First question. Which body of water can be found on the west side of the Philippines? So here. Okay, very good. We have three. South China Sea, the West Philippine Sea, and the Indian Sea. Next, which body of water is located on the east side of the Philippines? So here. We have the Philippine Sea and the Pacific Ocean. Very good. Lastly, which large land mass is found on the northwest side of the Philippines? So here, this large amount of land mass. Very good. We have the Asian continent. So those are the land masses and bodies of water that can be found around us. So now, we will now try to find the location of the Philippines using the coordinate system. Okay? So first of all, what is a coordinate system? So our, a coordinate system is a grid used to identify locations on a page or screen that are equivalent to grid locations on the globe. Okay? So we have here the different example. We have the globe. Then we have here the intersecting lines of going up and going down and going left and right. Next, a coordinate system is a set of transferable units or numbers in the form of a grid, which is used in specifying a location of a point or a line on a surface. So here in our example, you can see that we have different amounts of numbers here outside the perimeter of the globe, which is in degrees. And lastly, geographic coordinate system, or the GCS, is the recognized coordinate system which is comprised of the latitude and the longitude to locate different places on Earth. So we will go deeper on the latitude and the longitude, or the lines that goes up and down, and the lines that go left and right. So what are those lines? First, let us discuss what is a latitude. A latitude measures how far a point is north or south of the equator. Since the Earth is round, Distance from the equator is measured in angular degrees, with the equator being 0 degrees and the north pole being at 90 degrees and the south pole is also at 90 degrees. So let's look at this example. So we have here the globe, then the equator in the middle of it. So we always remember that the latitude goes horizontally with the equator. And remember that the equator is always at 0 degrees, and as you move far away from the equator, you will have 15 degrees, then 30 degrees, then 45 degrees, 60 degrees, then as you reach the North Pole and South Pole, you will have 90 degrees. So when looking for the altitude of a place, find the place on a map, then locate the equator, which is always in the middle. Third is to determine if the place is north, here 
upper side, the northern hemisphere, or south of the equator, or the southern hemisphere. And lastly is to write down the coordinate. Remember that the equator divides the world or the map into the northern hemispheres and the southern hemisphere. So that is how you find the latitude of a place. So how about the longitude? So a longitude measures how far a point is east or west of the prime meridian, arbitrarily set as Greenwich, England. Since the Earth is round, distance from the prime meridian is measured in angular degrees with the prime meridian being at zero longitude. As you move east or west, the longitude measures up to 8 to 180 degrees of the prime meridian. So let's look on this example. So here you have yet another globe. But instead of lines going left or right, you have your lines going up and down or vertically. Okay? So this is the prime meridian. For the latitude, you have the equator. But for the longitude, you have the prime meridian that is in the middle of the globe, which measures 0 degrees. Then as you move far away from the prime meridian, or you, as you move from east to west from the prime meridian, you will have to measure from 0 to 108 degrees from east to west. So when looking for a location's longitude, first is to find the place on a map. Second is to locate the prime meridian. Third is to determine if the place is east or west of the prime meridian. And number four is to write down the coordinate. Remember, if the latitude measures if it is north or south, the longitude measures if it is east or west. So that is their difference. Okay? So let's try to do some activity. So you have here a globe. So let's answer this question. But first, let us read the direction. Identify the northern and southern hemispheres. So what line divides the two hemispheres? Very good. The equator. So you have here the north hemispheres and the south hemisphere. Number two, what line divides the globe into east or west? Very good. You have the prime meridian. So you have here the east side, then you have here the west side. Next question. Can you now locate the Philippines on the globe? So let us try to find the Philippines on our map. So as you can see, the Philippines is here. Okay? So that is the first step in finding the coordinate of a location at a place. Then, on what latitude and longitude does the Philippines lie? So first, let us find the latitude of the Philippines. So in finding the latitude, you have to know if it is east or if it is north or south. So since the Philippines is here in the upper part of the equator, the Philippines is on the north hemisphere. And its the angular degree would be 15 degrees. So therefore, the Philippines is located at 15 degrees north latitude. Very good. How about its longitude? So we now locate the place on the map. Next is to whether decide if it is on the east side or the west side. So we all know that the Philippines is on the east side of the prime meridian. So here it is. Then, what is its angular degrees? Very good. You have 120 degrees east. So, therefore, the Philippines is located at 120 degrees east longitude. So, overall, the Philippines is located at 15 degrees north latitude and 120 degrees east longitude. So, that is how you find the Philippines using the coordinate system. How about other places on Earth? How can we find the coordinate system of other places? So let's try this activity. So we have to identify the coordinates of the given countries on the map. So we have here the globe. 
Then we have given here five different places to find the coordinates. The first place is the Tokyo, Japan. Next is Singapore City. Then we have Melbourne, Australia. Then we have New York, USA. And lastly is Brasilia from Brazil. So you have to find the latitude and the longitude or the coordinates of the different places here on the map. You can pause the video to write your answer. Okay, let us check your work. First, let us find Tokyo, Japan in our coordinate system. So Tokyo, Japan is located here on the map. So it is on the north side of the map and on the east side of the map. So therefore, its latitude would be 25 degrees north and its longitude would be 120 degrees east. Okay, next is Singapore City. So Singapore City is here. Again, it is on the upper side or the northern side of the map and on the east side of the map. So what is its coordinates? So the coordinates of Singapore City is 5 degrees north and 105 degrees east. Third is Melbourne, Australia. So here is the continent of Australia and Melbourne is here. So Melbourne is on the south side of our map and on the east side of the map. So therefore, the coordinate of the Melbourne, Australia is 30 degrees south and 135 degrees east. Fourth one, New York, USA. So New York is located here on the north side of the map, but it is now on the west side of the map. So therefore, its coordinates is 30 degrees north and 90 degrees west. Lastly, Brasilia, Brazil is located here on the south side of the map, but also on the west side of the map. Therefore, its coordinates are 50 degrees south and 45 degrees west. Okay, so those are the coordinates of the different places on the map. So, there, so that is how you find and write the different coordinates of the different places using our coordinate system. Always remember, is to first is to locate the place on the map. Second is whether to decide if it's on the north or south hemispheres or in the east or side of the map. Next is to write its angular degrees, then combine its direction and its angular degrees, then you will have your coordinate system. Okay? And to further our understanding of our lesson for today, let us answer these questions. Let's first read the direction. Answer the following questions by choosing the letter of the correct answer. Number one, which of the following is used to accurately locate a place on Earth? A, GCS, B, IDL, C, Prime Meridian, D, Equator. Number two, what is the measure of degrees on the equator line on the globe? A, zero degrees, B, 60 degrees, C, 90 degrees, D, 30 degrees. Number three, which of the following is the imaginary line that runs horizontally on Earth? A, latitude, B, longitude, C, prime meridian, and D, equator. Number four, which of the following imaginary lines that runs vertically on Earth? A. Latitude B. Longitude C. Prime Meridian D. Equator And last, number 5, what is the first step in finding the coordinate of a place on Earth? A. Identify if it is north or south B. Identify if it is east or west C. Identify the place on the map and D is to write the angular degrees of the place. So finalize your work. Then let's check. So for number one, the answer is letter 
A. Number 2 is also A. And number 3, again, letter A. Okay? Number 4 is B. And number 5 is C. So, I hope you got all the correct answer. And I hope you understand well our lesson for today. So, that would be all. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you.